Woo! Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Tony. Today we're going to be making cookies. Yum. First, we need to get you out of the fridge so I can eat that yogurt that you're sitting on and then you will not get cold. Here we go. So the light really does turn off when you close the door. This is m the most important thing you will ever need when it comes to baking. Uh, ever, actually. You need an iPod, like this. With music on it. For all you crazy people out there that have skepticism about me being able to bake, Cookies? Just cause you're gangsta doesn't mean you cannot bake cookies, yo. Alright, really gotta get these off, they hurt like hell. The first rule is always use the uh, wet ingredients first, because otherwise, if you put the flour in, and then put the eggs in, you're gonna end up with something that looks a little bit like throw up. Okay, I don't know why I circled baking soda, I apparently thought it was a wet ingredient. Here we go. Ooh, we're not gonna make it. Ah! Idiot! <laughs> that was nice. I love that. That's great. Yeah. Well, at least I didn't get any of this shell in there. Okay, better luck on the second try. Okay. If my hands will stay together that long. Come on. Okay. There we go. That one looks better than the second one, don't it? Is it a good idea to microwave this? I'm your host, Anthony Compton. Today we're going to microwave butter. Over here, in this cabin, we have our sharp microwave. Her name is Michelle. She has lived through everything that we have put her through. Over here, we have our ventilation system, which we will leave on for the purposes of not making ourselves choke on butter fumes. Now, we have our butter. We're going to go put the butter in here. We have this protect protective door here to protect our um, nuts, because nobody likes roasted nuts. So, we're going to put... Um, Okay, we're gonna put it in there for fifth. How, how long should we put it in there for? Six hours, six, six minutes, okay. sixty-six seconds. No, no, no I, I think we should put it in there for thirty seconds. Starting to boil. Boil. See that? You see that? Hear it? Listen to that. Whoa, yeah! No. Come on. Come on, show. Whoa, see that? Like magma. Magma. Okay, well, we didn't get hurt. The butter, however, it melted. Just like now that we've done that, and that kind of looks like, um, let's not go there, we're going to add the uh, drier stuff. Booyah. Recipe calls for two and a quarter cups of flour. For all you those people that don't know how to uh, measure with cups, you're about to find out how. Alright, the big one on the bottom is the one cup measurement. We're gonna need two of these. This one is the smallest one because it's a quarter. It's a quarter of a cup. This one is a third. Like I said, this one is a quarter. Normally they're labeled, so don't freak out if you can't think of it and remember it like that. I do it the cheater way. I don't use a knife. There's one, and hopefully there's one and a quarter in there. Look sure it can be a burden. It's 
always a good idea to take out your anger on the brown sugar. Because it comes hard in a package. The recipe calls for three cups of chocolate chips. Personally, I don't think there's three cups in there, so I'm just gonna dump the. Here we go. Oh crap, those aren't chocolate chips! Last two ingredients salt and cinnamon, and eventually. Cinnamon. We want the cinnamon! We're gonna get the cinnamon! Okay, so we have the cinnamon! We're going to measure the cinnamon and put it in the cookie bowl. We want a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. This is a half teaspoon of cinnamon. It is too big. We need the quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. We're going to run through this of the cinnamon. And we're going to take the thing of the cinnamon. And we're going to take this teaspoon of, I mean, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and dump it into the cookie bowl. Now that we have done that, we're going to put this back on the cinnamon and then screw this back on the cinnamon. Put this back on the cinnamon, and we're going to put the cinnamon back into where the cinnamon goes. And that is how we put the cinnamon in. Now that we are all done with putting the ingredients in, it's time to mix them up. Actually, it doesn't taste all that bad. What's it it's taste like, like? Like cookie dough. Now that we've mixed all the cookie dough together and whatnot, it's time for Star Wars Club. This is where the fun begins. Preheat the oven. 350. And now we gotta do the uh, traditional cookie pan thing. Yeah. This cookie dough. Check this out. Boom. 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 It's mine. Boom. 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 Okay. That is 12 cookies, obviously. Do you have all your math? I'm going to count them for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's 12, you did. So, we're going to... Now that the oven's done for heating, we're going to stick this in there. 